if you don't join the union, like say you mm-hmm. say you live in a right to work state like Texas and you're working on union jobs, but you don't see the need to join. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't join the union, are you still eligible for any of the union benefits? And the answer to that question is yes. You are still Ooh. eligible for health insurance. You are still eligible for the pension plan or, or the retirement fund, depending on that's that's a whole can of worms. But yes, you are still you are still eligible for for some benefits, not all of them. The educational resources we were talking about from the sag after Foundation, those types of things are exclusive to members. Uh, the deals mm-hmm. and discounts and stuff like that. But uh, but the. The big ones that people really care about, I mean, you're going to benefit from the higher wages and the collective bargaining. Um, mm-hmm. You're you're going to benefit from the protections the that are in place measures. yeah, yeah. On, on the contract. Uh, and yes, you are still eligible for health and retirement benefits. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I mean, you still have to hit the qualification thresholds and everything, but uh, you're still eligible for that. I know that mm-hmm. for a fact because I was not a member of the union when I started on my health care from audiobook work. 